Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to talk about routers. Specifically, I want to talk about your router. If you think that sounds a little presumptive, well, it is and it isn't. Because if you have a home network that has access to the internet, you have a router. The problem with this is a lot of people don't really understand what their routers do and the purpose that they serve in your home network. So in today's episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about the router in your home network in terms of what it does and how it works. And I'll also explain why it's so vital to your home network. Okay, so what exactly is a router? For reference here, I previously made a video about the modem in your home network and how your modem works. And I detailed how simple these devices are. Well, actually, when it comes to your router, you can tell right off the bat, they're a little bit more complex. As you can see here, you have antennas. That's the first thing that sticks out. We'll talk about this a bit more later, but that's how you get Wi-Fi or wireless internet access in your home. You can see there are some lights on the front that tells you the status of the device. If you're curious about those, I previously made a video that explains what those lights do and what they mean but for the purposes of this video, we're just going to skip over that. Flipping the device over here, you can see there's a little bit more to it. There's an ethernet port here. As you can see, that's connected. That's the ethernet port that's used to connect your modem and your router together. But you'll see here, there are additional ethernet ports, and that's if you wanna connect your devices directly to your router. Again, we'll be touching on that shortly here as well. Another thing that might stick out to you here, this is actually a USB port. This is used for more complex situations. This is not something you need to know right off the bat. In most cases, people don't even use them, so we'll skip over that for now. The last thing we need to look at right here, this cable, that's just simply the power cable that provides power to the device. Now that we've covered the components of your router, let's talk about what a router actually does your router in your home network really has one main purpose. It allows multiple devices in your home to share the same internet connection. As you may know, your internet service provider is providing your home with an internet connection, but this is one single wire. This is one single connection between your home and the internet service provider. So we need to find ways to have multiple devices leverage that one connection at the same time so multiple users in your home can access the internet at the same time. This is where your router comes in. And your router allows internet connections in two different ways. The first, as we mentioned, through these antennas, it provides Wi-Fi or wireless internet access to your home. This is how the majority of people connect to the internet. The other component we went over here, here you go, here's four ethernet ports. This allows you to connect your devices directly to the back of your router with an ethernet cable, and this allows your devices to have a wired connection to the internet. Now, there are differences between wired and Wi-Fi connections to the internet. Again, this is a video for another time, but what's important to understand is the fact that this router provides these two different ways of connecting to the internet, and all of these devices are sharing the same internet connection to your internet service provider. I wanna dive a little bit further into how your router actually allows multiple devices to share one internet connection. So let's take a look at an example for this. So let's start here with a diagram of your home network. As you can see here, you have three devices in your home network. You have your router, your modem, and then we have the larger internet. So let's say we have a device, your laptop to be specific, that wants to request a certain web page from the internet. So what happens is your device sends that request to your router. It says, hey, I want access to this web page. This request gets passed along to your modem, and then it gets sent out to the larger internet. Your internet goes, it finds the web page that you're looking for, and it returns a response to your modem who then passes the response to your router. But here's where things get tricky. As you can see, there are three devices in your home network. How does your router know which device to send that web page to? 
Your router knows where this request is going because it assigns what are called IP addresses to your devices. I'm sure we've all seen an IP address before. If you're not familiar with them, essentially it's just a way of tagging the device to give it an address. Much like your home address has a mailing address, your router gives addresses to your devices so it knows where to send requests and responses to the internet. So as you might have guessed, your router keeps track of the fact that the laptop requested that certain web page, and that's how it returns it directly to your laptop. Looking at another flavor of this same example, let's say you're on your iPhone, you have a Wi-Fi internet connection, there's another web page that you want to access on your iPhone. You send that request to your router, who forwards it along to your modem. It goes out to the internet to find the web page. The web page is returned to your modem, passed to your router, and because your router tags that iPhone with the 192.168.100.2 IP address, it knows that's where the request came from, that's where the response should go, so it sends the response to your iPhone. So why do you need a router in your home network? Well, first and foremost, without a router in your home network, your devices wouldn't all be able to access the internet. In addition, you also wouldn't have Wi-Fi at home. You wouldn't be able to wirelessly connect to the internet. As a bonus, and this topic is a little more complex for the overview of your router, your router also provides your devices with security features and protects them from hackers online. This is why it's recommended that if you don't have a router in your home network, that you don't even try to access the internet. To put it simply, if you want to access the internet, you need to have a router. If this video provided you with some insight and you learned something new, I invite you to please give it a like. That will ensure that the video gets shared with other people who will benefit from this information as well. If you have any questions or if anything was confusing for you, please drop a comment below. And lastly, if you like my videos and the way that I present this technical information in an easy to understand way, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I'll be continuing to put out more videos here in the future that will likely benefit you as well. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.